Hi, I thought I'd demonstrate my latest acquisition, the Hornaday Concentricity Tool. Um, I was determined I wouldn't bother with that, but I thought I may as well. It's winter here and uh, there's not so much shooting, so I thought I'd buy this gauge. I've got to say, this is the first major bit of Hornaday equipment I bought, and it's very, very well engineered. Lovely bit of um, engineering there for the money and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how I set it up. It comes with three bullet spindles, I've got one in here already fitted there and there's two more here you can see one is for the the smaller bullet profile and here's a larger one. Um, I use the small one and the intermediate one for my particular uh, cartridges which are 223 and 308 so you get two of these, they're very easy to fit you just unscrew here, you've got a spring in here uh, and I'll show you the reason for that in a minute so very impressed so far so first of all let's uh, let's set it up, you get an instruction leaflet with it and you also can watch a load of YouTube demonstrations but this is how I set uh, my one up and I'm going to test 308 today uh, this is Radway Green stuff uh, it's bog standard 1990 uh, nothing special about it it's it's issue for uh, the SLR and for machine guns uh, it's certainly not sniper grade so the first thing I do I <laughs> actually should point out that obviously you've got a dial gauge with this just unpack that uh, rather a nice dial gauge as you can see here um, and I put that in last so let's just demonstrate the principles first of all you've got to put the cartridge in here and pull this spring loaded spindle back and let it go back now what you need here, whether you can see that, is about an eighth of an inch gap between this ball here and the frame there. If you don't get that, what you do, loosen this off and you can slide this back and forward. So you put that in there, I think I just uh, push it forward a little bit you can see it go out and then tighten that up that's that so that's set up for your particular cartridge the next thing to do is this is the mount that takes the dial gauge and you've got the adjustment screw which corrects the run out it's well I think it's the only gauge that actually gives you the opportunity to correct with this screw so you, you make sure that's opposite resting on the bullet but just ahead of the case neck like that and lock it up now we'll fit the dial gauge you notice that this gauge comes with two rubber grommets fitted on the measuring spindle here now when you put this in and you've got to mount it uh, in on this substantial piece where the, the actual spindle goes in and out so you've got to mount it there you can see that the gauge would come right across here and touch this now, you can have that but it makes it very awkward to put the cartridge in uh, because you've got to use the cartridge to push the gauge back and I'll show you how I set that up first of all let's fit it in here and you'll notice that the cage is fully in there and we've gone for quite a few revolutions here. If I take this cartridge out that measuring spindle will go right across so when I try to put the next one in I'll have to fanny around there to try and get it in. So what you do is you roll these grommets down so a little bit fiddly so you can get used to it as 
see what I mean it is a you roll those down leave a little gap there now when you take the round out doing that wrong pull this off then the gauge only goes forward about halfway if I roll this up a bit further the gauge will move across this measuring gauge here so you need that about halfway in like so if you can see here sorry I'm not the light if you can see here this spindle is now about halfway between the gaps here so let's go ahead and put a round in you do this pull this out and put the round in now some people muck around here so that the zero is at the top that's uh, up to you it doesn't really matter where you put the zero so you zero the gauge and you just rotate the round now I think I'll have to tilt this slightly because I don't think you can see that let's go in okay I'll tilt the gauge so you can see there's our zero reading 5 thou, 6 thou so you're rotating the round and the spindle is measuring so according to Horner Day anything over 3 thou does need adjusting so we take that out and put it to one side we'll check another one here I think you've got the principle by now slot it in there and I'll turn that again zero that and there we've got four well, no, slightly off on the zero here we go six thou So that's what you do, you twiddle this and measure on the gauge. Let's do another one. So two so far that are out of the spec that Hornaday applies, which is no more than three thou run out. We'll do another one. Now this is a good one, look. Barely two thou. So that's acceptable. And that's how you do it. Now what I'm going to do here is actually correct run out on one of these rounds. Normally on a military round I wouldn't bother because um, I don't want uh, I don't use this ammunition for long range target shooting, it's really for plinking, so a few thou run out on it and can make a, a jot of difference. So let's put this back in and I'll show you how to correct. Right, the first thing you do is find the lowest point. Sorry I've got to tilt the gauge because it's got the lighting set up here. So get to the lowest point and put your zero on there. Let's try again. Right, we've got six thou here. So you set the gauge at the lowest point and then use this screw here which has got a small soft point to put pressure on the actual bullet. Now you don't want to keep cranking that so you maybe put, if I could call it, 10 thou pressure on there. Back it off, measure again. You see that's come down. Here we go, so that's about four, four thou. So I need a little bit more. Apply a bit more here. So you can see I'm actually forcing the thing across and the gauge is showing a movement, if you like, which you can equate to pressure, right? Three thou. So we we'll just correct a little bit more. Zero 
again. Two thou. And that's the way you do it. Um, as I say, I wouldn't really bother with military ammunition. But uh, if you've got reloads and they run out, you can correct it. Now there's a debate whether it matters, uh, and I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to get involved in it. But it certainly gives you peace of mind uh, with your reloading. OK, uh, I thought I'd test my hand loads, which um, I've never checked before, but I've assumed uh, that these competition seating dies. This one's a Reading. Very expensive. This is the one I use for my 308. And the other one is a Forster. Again, quite expensive. And I use this for 223. Now, what I did, I checked um, a whole box of reloads. Here we are. Uh, you can see that 175 grain. This is Sierra, and these are Sierra Match King bullets. All of them were under 2,000 in terms of run out. So these do work. Same with the Forster on the 223. I checked uh, a box of 223 reloads and again under 2,000. So they do what they say. Now you may say, okay, well, you don't really need a run out gauge, but what I'm going to do in the future is every time I load a batch which is only a hundred or fifty uh, I don't only load any more of that for my target shooting I'm going to check 10% of the box with the run out gauge just to make sure everything's the same um, now what else did I check oh yes uh, I checked some I won't actually put the box up because it'd be unfair on the manufacturer right? but I checked some um, match 223 ammunition 223 and it was 69 grain I think yes I checked that and I had a 20 round box it wasn't cheap and it shoots very well in my 223 rifle bolt rifle and surprisingly the run out was up to 8 thou now here we go here's the debate uh, does run out really matter for the type of shooting I do uh, I'll have to reserve my judgment on that till I shoot a few uh, long range rounds which I'm going to do this week uh, I'm going to be shooting at 1200 uh, yards, 1000 yards and 800 yards with a 308 and I'm going to use uh, 155 Palmer Match and 175 Grain Sierra Match Kings which have been checked for run out and they're good so we'll see how we go but this is the tool um, and just as a side these dies do work very very low run out this is nicely made and in, if you're interested in, in going a little bit further with your reloading just checking making sure that things are, are absolutely all right it's it's very nice um, and very well made I'm quite impressed with Hornaday thanks for watching